Tesla delivers over 700 vehicles to Western Australia. Tesla recently delivered a whopping 749 Model Y and Model 3 vehicles to Western Australia. The deliveries hint at the rising demand for Tesla in certain parts down under. Recently, Tesla Owners Club Western Australia shared a photo of Model 3 and Model Y electric vehicles arriving at the Fremantle port via the Crystal Ace transport ship in Western Australia. Not all 749 Tesla vehicles were captured in the photos. Only around 400 plus Model Y and Model 3s are shown in the picture. However, one ex-commenter informed netizens that the remaining 300 were unloaded from Crystal Ace after sunset. A record total of 749 EVs freshly arrived at Fremantle Port in Western Australia from the transport ship Crystal Ace. Soon to be delivered to eager owners. Tesla's growing presence in Australia has helped it expand vehicle deliveries. Western Australia is the latest addition to Tesla's expanding delivery points. The company would have to transfer cars from the east to the west coast of Australia before delivering directly to the port in Western Australia. Tesla vehicles sent to Fremantle Port will likely speed up the delivery process, encouraging more people to buy from the company. As of this writing, Tesla sells the Model Y RWD, long range, and performance in Western Australia. The RWD variant starts at $65,400. Meanwhile, the Model Y long range starts at $78,400, and the performance costs $91,400 before auctions. Tesla offers Model 3 RWD, long range, and performance to consumers in Western Australia. The RWD costs $57,400 before options. The long-range Model 3 starts at $70,400, and the performance variant starts at $83,400. The WA government offers a $3,500 rebate to zero-emission vehicles ZEV for up to 10,000 eligible vehicles until 2025. The rebate applies to ZEVs with a subtotal of $70,000 or less, including GST. Tesla's estimated delivery times for all Model Y variants are between July and September 2023. Below is the application for Western Australia's ZEV rebate. Western Australia Zero Emission Vehicle Rebate E120 Application by Maria Murano on Scribd Source. Reposted and summarized from Maria Murano at Teslarati. Tesla NACS gets two new adoptees and GM is to thank. Honda and Acura have made their decision regarding the adoption of the Tesla North American Charging Standard NACS. And General Motors had a major part in the choice to bring the connector to new EV releases in the next few years. Honda said last week in an interview with Autoblog that it would adopt Tesla's NACS connector as it is quite important in the company's transition to build competitive electric vehicles. That will also have a plentiful number of charging stalls to gain range from. We also have to push NACS, as well. It is clear, American Honda Motor Company President and CEO Noria Kaihara said late last week. Honda's next two EVs, which are the Prologue under its brand and the ZDX under Acura, will share GM's architecture known as Ultium when they eventually launch. The ZDX is set to launch before the Prologue and will initially be outfitted with the combined charging system CCS Inlet. We clearly depend on GM, he added. Once they switch to NACS, this will follow for ZDX as well. In June, GM became the second automaker, following Ford, to adopt NACS. Our vision of the all-electric future means producing millions of world-class EVs across categories and price points, while creating an ecosystem that will accelerate mass EV adoption. GM's chair and CEO, Mary Barra, said, the decision to adopt NACS and gain access to Tesla superchargers was a simple one. 
According to Jay Joseph, American Honda's VP of Sustainability and Business Development. If you look at what's so great about the Tesla supercharger network, it's the maintenance. They stay on top of it. They've got someone on site monitoring the equipment. They're monitoring it electronically and remotely, and they fix it fast. That's probably the most important thing. Tesla has long garnered a reputation for having the most reliable and effective charging network among all companies involved in the space. Not only has Tesla continued to expand its supercharger footprint every quarter, but their availability and reliability are what make them truly stand out for EV owners. We have frequently written that, among all of Tesla's advantages, the supercharger network may be the biggest of all. Last quarter, Tesla opened 318 new supercharger stations, equating to nearly 3,000 more connectors globally. Based on those figures, the automaker has 5,265 stations and 48,082 connectors across the globe. 12,000 of those will be available to the automakers that have committed to the NACS connector. Source. Reposted and summarized from Joey Klender at Teslarati. Tesla's stock variety of upcoming catalysts landed on best ideas list. Tesla's variety of upcoming catalysts through the rest of the year have landed on Baird's elusive best ideas list, which is comprised of stocks that the brokerage believes are the best investments as 2023 heads toward its final quarter. Ben Callow, an analyst for Baird, included Tesla on the list due to its numerous catalysts that could send the stock even further upward this year. Already up over 94% this year, Tesla shares have rebounded nicely from a slide in 2022, which was caused by macroeconomic conditions outside of the company's control. Product delays and supply chain issues have caused turmoil for nearly every automaker over the past three years. Tesla is primed to finish the year close to up over 100% this year as long as nothing catastrophic happens to the automaker as Q3 comes to a close. Callow lists several things in terms of catalysts that should help Tesla stock continue its monumental climb in 2023 via MarketWatch. Potential upcoming catalysts for the stock include Cybertruck launch, a wider scale adoption of full self-driving, Tesla's suite of advanced driver assistance systems to navigate city streets. Continued growth in the energy business, expanding into new markets, and a possible AI day, among others. Tesla's Cybertruck is moving closer to deliveries. This morning, more Cybertrucks left Giga Texas, and headed presumably toward the Fremont factory, where a fleet of pickups made it last week. Tesla Cybertrucks are leaving Giga Texas in flocks. CEO Elon Musk has said for years that full self-driving will be solved this year. And while we are skeptical that will happen in 2023, Tesla's FSD suite is more robust than it's ever been. Baird has an outperform rating on the stock and a $300 price target. Tesla shares are currently up nearly 7% at the time of publish, which is 3.29 p.m. on the East Coast. Source Reposted and summarized from Joey Klender at Teslarati. Tesla to crack down on Cybertruck leaks employees could face consequences. Tesla has started cracking down on employees leaking images and videos of the Cybertruck as per a new Twitter post. The email appears to have been shared by Tesla internally, whose screenshot was posted by Teslafex. The email warns employees and contractors of immediate site removal if they're caught filming inside the Gigafactory Texas. Tesla is barring them from capturing anything related to the Cybertruck, its parts, or the production line unless they seek prior authorization for official reasons. The email also reads, The CT team will issue photo passes stickers to appropriate personnel in the future to help expedite interactions with security for business-related photography videography. Note that the authenticity of the shared email hasn't been verified.
It's common for companies to have confidentiality agreements with employees to protect their proprietary information from leaking into public domains. Some companies even have cell phone policies. And there's at least one ruling where the National Labor Relations Board upheld employers' policies. Restricting cell phone usage on premises in certain sections, and preventing disclosure of confidential information. There have been numerous leaks and spy images from the factory, enabling enthusiasts to track its progress over the past few months. However, with automakers now seriously safeguarding the model, fewer leaks might surface online. A recent drone shot showcased a Model Y security vehicle guarding two charging Cybertrucks. Possibly to prevent paparazzi from snapping the truck but it seems hard to keep the drones away. The Cybertruck's low-scale production is expected to start later this year, followed by volume production early in 2024. The first delivery and handover event could happen towards the end of Q3 2023, as per CEO Elon Musk. The vehicle reportedly has 1.9 million reservations, and some analysts expect the truck to cause a halo effect for the brand. Source Reposted and summarized from Suvrat Kothari at Inside EVS. Tesla Cybertrucks are leaving Giga Texas in flocks. Tesla Cybertrucks continue to leave Gigafactory Texas in flocks, as video of more units heading out of the company's production facility. Outside of Austin are shared on social media, the begging question continues. Where are they headed, and why? The Cybertruck has been in development for nearly four years. And Tesla is finally making consistent and persistent headway on the project, inching near initial deliveries. More Cybertrucks were spotted leaving the Texas factory this morning in droves via S.E. Robinson, Jr. on Twitter. Last week, several Cybertruck units were spotted at Tesla's Fremont factory in Northern California. Speculation is driving rumors in all different directions. Some believe these first units are being set aside for high-level employees. Others believe initial deliveries are going to be for those in Northern California. As of right now, there are no permits or filings for Fremont that seem to indicate an initial delivery event that Tesla plans on having in Q3. In past vehicle release instances at Fremont, Tesla has had to file for permits to hold the events there. Tesla filed permits for the Plaid delivery event, as well as an employee appreciation event just afterward. These have not been filed, at least not yet. And while Fremont is where many Cybertrucks are ending up, Giga Texas is where they are built. We'd expect the event to take place there. However, the Travis County Commissioner's Court has not referenced a Tesla Cybertruck event in the past two months. We reached out to the Travis County Fire Marshal, which detailed the Giga Fest at Giga Texas for us last year. Tesla applied for the event on February 18, 2022, and received approval in early March. The Giga Fest was held on April 7. Travis County Fire Marshals didn't immediately respond to us for comment regarding a mass gathering permit filed by Tesla for a Cybertruck delivery event. Because of the flock of Cybertrucks heading to Fremont, we are prone to believe the event might be held there after all. It seems more likely based on volume alone, but there is still a possibility that the automaker could hold an event in Texas by year's end. Source. Reposted and summarized from Joey Clender at Teslarati.